we get into this review, we gotta head to the gym. Let's go. Just arrived outside the gym, as you can see behind me. I've been using the Pixel Watch 2 every day since release, and it's a really good watch. Can't, uh, can't complain, but we'll get more into that after my session. The Pixel Watch 2 combines the power of Google's smart features and Fitbit's fitness and body tracking. Fitbit's most advanced heart rate tracking makes it one of the best fitness trackers on the market. Not only that, the sleep tracking is also one of the key features that makes this watch really good as well. The Pixel Watch 2 can auto detect when I'm being active and automatically activate workout mode. In this mode, it shows you a clear overview of your heart zone, minutes and calories during your training. This helps me a lot to see if I'm actually being productive during my workout. After you end the workout mode, it gives you a full summary of how you did. This is all synced with the Fitbit account that now is connected to your Google account. Just finished working out, it's time to go home and give you guys the full review. Let's go. Let's start off with how the Pixel Watch 2 battery holds up. I'll keep this short since I already made an Instagram reel on this, link is down below. I've had the Pixel Watch 2 for around 6 months now. Surprisingly the battery life is really good, especially after all the complaints from the original first generation Pixel Watch. But that also depends on if you know the tricks on how to make the battery life last longer. At first when I got the Pixel Watch 2, I just wanted to try all the features, all the watch faces. But then I realized that the watch wasn't holding up for 24 hours like Google said it would. For the next few days I tried to adjust different things on the watch and in the watch app. I'll get to the app later. I found that keeping all the notifications from my phone on the watch made a huge impact to the battery life. Removing the least important notifications helped a lot to improve the battery life, but it wasn't enough to make it last 24 hours. Depending on the watch face I was using, I was only getting 10 to 15 hours depending on my use case. I then started testing different watch faces for a full day, finding out that the photo watch face specifically was draining my battery. I now use the analog bold watch face. This is only one of many watch faces that are in the watch app. Talking about the watch app, what can you actually expect from the Pixel Watch 2 and its customized the Pixel Watch 2 uses Google's Wear OS 4, a much improved version of Google's original Wear OS. With this new version of Wear OS that Google made, they made a brand new app as well to go with it. As you can see, when you first open the app, you have all your settings right in front of you. This app makes it a lot easier to navigate through some of the settings and features on the Pixel Watch 2. Here you have a nice overview of your battery life, if the watch is connected, all the watch faces you use, and all the ones you can add. There's a section called Tiles. This is where you can add certain features you want to have easier access to. By swiping left to right from the home screen, on the watch. I only use three since those are the ones I check the most. And then there's notifications as I mentioned previously. The Google section is just to connect your Google account, Google Wallet, Calendar, and Gmail just so you have easier access to it. The Fitbit area is to connect your Fitbit account. You can download apps from the Play Store to the watch or you can do it on the watch itself. The watch preferences area, I have to say I usually just adjust these on the watch itself but you can do it from the app as well. Those are settings like screen lock, tilt to wake, always on display. Then it's safety and emergency which just connects your Android safety features. Let's talk about the Pixel Watch 2 performance. Google's previous Wear OS was never as smooth as an Apple Watch, if you want to compare them. But with the new Wear OS 4, I believe you can compete with Apple Watch. Don't get me wrong, I still think Wear OS has a long way to go to reach Apple's Watch OS, but it's definitely on the right path to that goal. Wear OS 4 feels a lot smoother, it doesn't stutter as much as the previous version, it's also way better supported by Google since it's also working with Samsung on developing Wear OS. It overall feels more complete. Some may say it's the Apple Watch of Android. Before giving my final verdict, I must mention the design of this watch. Although I like how clean it looks, Google could have improved it a lot more. Google did stick to the round design in compared to Apple. I do think this looks more normal to most people, although I do like the Apple Watch design a lot. My main issue with this design is size. It only comes in 41mm, so it's pretty small. I wish it came in a bigger size since my wrists are big, but the rumor that Google is working on two sizes for the next Google Pixel Watch 3. So let's see if Google heard the fans since I'm not the only one with this problem. They redesigned the crown to be a better experience on this watch. I didn't have the first generation, but I do think it's very smooth. And the haptic feedback when scrolling feels really nice. Another thing to point out is the band connector for the Pixel Watch 2. If you aren't familiar with the Pixel Watch 1 or the first generation, the Pixel Watch 2 uses the same proprietary connector. You press the button where the band goes, then slide the band in 
and it locks into place. I currently only have one band and it's the standard active band that comes with the Pixel Watch 2. I do like this band for everyday usage, but when it comes to the gym, I would like to get a sports band since the active band doesn't really breathe as good as a sports band since it has the holes. After all that said, this is my final verdict on the Pixel Watch 2 after six months. I've only had one smartwatch before the Pixel Watch 2 and it easily beats the previous one I had. From the sleep tracking and the 24 hour battery to the workout mode and the Fitbit integration, this watch has helped me keep track of how active I am from day to day. Also to see how good of a sleep I get every day, but that could also be a placebo effect. Since I'm currently on a fitness slash weight loss journey, this watch has actually helped me keep track and made me more focused on my goal. Except the fitness part of the watch, the Google integration is actually really nice. From the Google features to the notifications, it's really, really nice to have. I can see my text on the watch without having to open my phone. Also check my calendar and Gmail if needed. And the overall experience is just really nice. I would recommend this watch to anyone with an Android phone for sure. Although I do advise everyone to keep an eye out for the Pixel Watch 3 that is coming later this year since it might have two sizes and you don't have to stick to the smallest. Also, if you do consider buying this watch to work out with it, consider buying a sports band since this is not that breathable. That's it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to comment down below what you thought of this video. Also, if there's anything I should improve for next time, I am thinking to do more videos like this. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.